Hey guys, how's it going? Welcome to my special Labor Day edition of the 2019 US Open. Um, and when I say special, it's because I am going to be attending the Open tonight and I'm super excited. Um, partly because I'm gonna be seeing that man on the screen in front of you, Rafa Nadal. Um, I've been really lucky in the past, I've gotten to see Djokovic and Federer and a lot of the other greats play live, but I just never had an opportunity to see Rafa. So that uh, that should be pretty awesome. Um, so I'm gonna do things a little differently today rather than talk about the previous day's uh, results first, I'm actually gonna talk about the lineup first and then get into results. So if we look at the schedule of play, <clears throat> Uh, we're going to be starting with Osaka versus Bencic. And just as an aside, I have to say I am so glad that uh, the U.S. Open finally built a roof on ash a few years ago because uh, there was rain in the forecast all day today. And in the past, that meant there'd be no tennis. Um, it is going to be an issue for the outside courts, or I should say all the courts other than ash, but at least we'll have these sort of main matches happening on Ash without, uh, without any weather-related issues. Um, so Osaka Bencic, um, I gotta say Osaka, you know, after the Australian Open, she seemed to have a slump, um, wasn't really doing great, seemed a little bit uninspired, but she has looked so good at uh, the Open this year, um, just like playing so sharp. And I, I think she even said that in her match against Goff the other night, she felt sharper and sort of more on uh, than she has in a while and not since the Australian Open. So hopefully, um, kind of like Serena, we're, we're seeing her kind of peak at the right time and uh, hopefully that will take her all the way. Um, I have to give Osaka the edge here. I mean, Bencic is a great player, but um, I just think, I think Naomi has a lot of momentum going forward. Um, Zverev, Schwartzman, you know, I know I rag on Zverev, but I have to say, I just, I just don't find his game interesting. It, to me, it's just, I think he underperforms. I think he always winds up in these sort of endless, you know, five set matches. Um, I don't know. I don't, I don't feel either way about this. I do like Diego Schwartzman. I love that he's a fighter. I love that he's, you know, people underestimate him because he's short but he's actually very powerful and he's really great at breaking serve. So I'm gonna give this one to Diego. Um, and then moving on to the night matches and that's when I have my tickets for, it's gonna be Nadal Cilic. Um, I have to give this one to Nadal, he's been looking great. I don't know their head to head, but I'm pretty sure Nadal is, is way ahead um, in their matchups. And then the match I'm probably most excited about is Taylor Townsend against Bianca Andreescu. Um, Taylor is, she's not uh, a kid anymore, but she is relatively young. I think she's 21 or 22. And she has been, this is kind of a breakout for her. I mean, um, I feel like her rank has always been somewhere around 100, you know, give or take a little bit. And she just looked amazing at this tournament. She beat Halep and she's into the fourth round. And as I've said, to me, she represents change and she represents new faces, new voices, different styles of tennis, not just this sort of boring, endless baseline rallies. I love that she serves in volleys. I love that she chips and charges and is good at the net. And um, I kind of love the fact that, you know, people have had their doubts about her because she's doesn't look like your typical tennis player because she's not six feet tall and 120 pounds. Um, so as talented as Andreescu is, um, and I, I don't know, I have a feeling Andreescu is going to take this, but I'm, I'm, my, my heart is with Taylor. So we'll see how that goes, but I'm sure it's going to be an exciting match. Um, and then, uh, on Arm Armstrong, again, these matches may or may not happen given the rain. Uh, but Donna Vekic, I think has been looking great. I think she's ready for a breakout, so I give this one to her over Yulia Gerges. Um, Rublev, Berrettini, both young, very hard-hitting guys. Uh, Berrettini's year has been up and down. He won a few tournaments, then he had kind of some not great results, got destroyed by Roger at Wimbledon. Um, 
again, I feel like if we're looking at who's got the momentum, who's on the upswing, I feel like it's Rublev. So I'm going to give this one to him. Um, on show Christine on, you know, funny thing about her. I mean, I'm super excited for her. She's not a young player, relatively speaking. She's 27. And it's funny. I looked at her history. She actually played the U.S. Open in 2008 where she didn't get past the first round. I'm assuming she had a wild card. I'm assuming at the time she was a kid, maybe um, 16 or 17. And then there's a 10 year span where she she didn't make it to the US Open. Her ranking wasn't high enough to uh, to get in or maybe she tried to qualify, I'm not sure. Um, another funny thing though is it says she's, she's a local girl. It says she's from Flushing Meadows. Um, Flushing is the neighborhood, but Flushing Meadows is where the U.S. Open is. That's the name of the park. So somehow I don't think she grew up in Flushing Meadows. Um, hoping that's a typo. Um, but anyway, she's, you know, I'm excited for her that she's come this far. But I have to say, if she's going up against um, Mertens, who's a, you know, 25th in the world, I, I have to give it to Mertens. And then... Monfils Anduhar. Monfils and um, his girlfriend, Svitolina, they're like the power couple. They're both, um, he's in the fourth round, she's now in the quarters. And um, I have to say, I love Monfils. I think he's super fun, super athletic. Anduhar, though, is a, a veteran player who's been sort of on the comeback. Um, but looking into my crystal ball, I have to give this one to Monfils. And... Um, that's it for the singles matches. So let's talk about uh, what happened yesterday. Um, obviously, there was a big retirement. Uh, Djokovic retired in the third set against Stan. Um, it's unfortunate. He'd been dealing with this shoulder injury, which you know we saw he was hesitant to talk about. A lot of times reporters were trying to probe and he just sort of pushed them off. Uh, we saw him get treatment a bunch of times. Um, you know, it's too bad. I, I hope he's okay. I hope it's not going to affect him long term. But um, the two and a half sets that they did play were really great, really competitive. There were a lot of really exciting points. But um, in the end, Djokovic had to retire. So Stan is moving on to the quarterfinals. Um, Roger, this was, like, strangely easy. Um Gofan got four games off of him. Um, it was honestly a little disappointing. I really expected a bit more from Gofan. Um, but hey, Roger, you know, good for him. He's through to the fourth really easily. Um, Serena had a good match over Petra Martic. I saw this match. It was um, maybe a little closer than the scoreline suggests. Um, Martic did break Serena at least once. There were a lot of really long points and long deuce games, so... Uh, it was not a walk in the park, a park for Serena, but I would say it's just about what she needed for, for a fourth round. Challenging, competitive, but not too stressful. Uh, Svitolina was in great form yesterday, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, over Madison Keys. She got through. Uh, here's the surprise. Ash Barty went down to, to Wong from China, um, and really easily. I, I did see some of that match yesterday, and Barty just, she seemed out of it. Um, I'm not sure what was going on, but she was not playing nearly as well as we've seen her play and as well as we know she can play. So um, unexpected, but hey, I guess the better player won that day. And um, Pliskova, um, she went down to Kanta. They had a very close match. Uh, came down to 7-5 in the third. And I just want to get a little peek at the draw just to see where we're at and who's going to be playing whom in, in later rounds. So because Vavrinka advances, <clears throat> he's going to be facing Medvedev in the quarters. Uh, Grigor, who we talked about, had a little luck, but also some great play, is going to be facing Roger. Uh, that should be interesting, although Roger, I think, you know, has won all their matches. Um, and then in this half, we still have the fourth round matches to come. And then if we look at the ladies, um, here are tonight's matches, which I just talked about. And then uh, in the quarters for tomorrow, it's going to be Svitolina Kanta and Williams versus Wong. 
Um, so a lot of good stuff happening today and next week. And before you know it, we'll have a 2019 champion for the men's and the women's. Uh, that's all for today, guys. I will definitely be taking pictures and videos at the open tonight, and I will share some with you in my next video. Um, so until tomorrow, have a great holiday.